Okay, it looks like we're really changing our attitude to ocean waste for the better. So I think historically a lot of the problem has been that with the ocean you can't see what the problems are. You look out and you see blue and you can't see the effect that we're having on it. And for years now we've been treating it almost like a, a plug hole that we can just throw things into and miraculously the trash that we put in the ocean will disappear. It's not the case. And Claire Osborne, who's the campaign manager for Incredible Oceans, has noticed this. More and more people are, are coming on board with the fact that they need to do something. And I think especially if you look at the plastic pollution issue, it's something that everyone can do something about. people are making more and more of an effort to live green every day and with increased media presence you can really feel that the tides are turning. There's also a lot more accessibility now to make a difference and um, people are seeing online petitions so people are being made more aware. There's more media coverage on this issue, as well as a better turnout at eco events, and more people are opting for eco tourism. Incredible Oceans um, started off as an online community where the idea was to connect people working on anti captivity issues. It then grew from being that online community to an event. Very quickly it, it grew to the biggest event of its kind, and in 2015, we had a, an event over two days at the Brighton Centre and had over 15,000 people attend. In 2017, sales of reusable coffee cups went up by 500%. There was a surge in anti-plastic campaigns online and the government's anti-plastic schemes are proving to be a huge success. If you look at things like the success of the plastic bag charge since the 5p charge came in in the UK, um, I think in six months there was an 80% or 80-ish, 85% reduction um, in plastic bag use, which was the equivalent to 6 billion tonnes, um, which if you want a visualisation for that is the equivalent of 300 blue whales. There's been a Green Party MP in office in Brighton Pavilion since 2010 and even the Queen has joined in on the war on plastic. The ocean for me is such a powerful force of nature. Individuals, every single person can make a massive difference because we are the people with the voice. And you know, it's, it's vital to all of us. We need it to survive. The UK is well on its way to becoming the leading country in Europe to tackle plastic waste.